What's up, guys? Uh, Mitch Fire Mall here. Uh, we're in our shop in Chicago. This is Andre. How's it going? Uh, he's on the tower ladder over by me. He saw our new kits coming out, our grip kits. Um, he's got an axe that he needs a new grip on, right? He's got it right there. It's all torn up. He actually wants the rubber boot off, and he want, wants to put that custom grip we have coming out. So before we do our, our full instructional video, we thought we'd bring you in and uh, just show you a quick, uh, quick video how easy it is to get done. So we're going to head on over right now. Guys, we got uh, the boot taken off here. We actually cleaned up the bottom of this handle a little bit just to take off the sharp edges. And we're going to put our lacing rings on now. And we're just going to show you, honestly, how easy this is. We, these rings are made to stretch out and then placed wherever you want on your tool. Just like that. Usually, what we do is, we call it the two finger technique, but usually inch to inch and a half in between. And you might, they'll roll a little bit on you, so you just got to get it about right. We usually do about two fingers in between. We found that's perfect, and the lacing rings actually kind of form up to your hand. It kind of feels like the bones of your hand fill in between the lacing rings, so it's really nice. gives you a kind of a high friction grip because your hand can rest up right against those, and your fingers, as they come around, will wrap in between. And three. So now when I wrap this, you have a nice little end stop on the bottom of this handle. All right, we got our leasing rings in. We got a train going by. It's going to be a little loud. We got our leasing rings installed. Uh, now we're going to have our tape. We're actually going to put our fiber tape on. And again, just show you guys how easy this really is. So this is our test kit here. Your, your tape that's going to come with yours is going to be 3 inch by 72 inch. This one is a little bit smaller. Uh, it is only, uh, it's only 2 inches by about 50. So, but with this, you just get it, get it started, and as you wrap that around, you're going to start pulling it tighter as you go. So it takes a little bit to get it tight right there. Now I can start pulling real tight all the way across. And all you have to do is apply water. I'm going to make sure you like it first, though. You want to go ahead? Here, I'll take the camera. Make sure you like your grip. Perfect. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and show you how easy it is to cure this. All right? This stuff does need to be used within about five minutes after opening. So we got it placed on there. Now we need to, we need to harden it up. So... Uh, you, if you have a bucket of water, you can dip it in it. Um, if you have water just sitting there, you can just start applying water. You can do a spray bottle. Just need to get it wet and let it soak into that, that fiber tape and let it start activating. That's what's going to cure your, your tape. I'm going to spread that resin out and just let it, let it do its thing. All right, Andre had to leave, uh, so I'm actually just going to bring you in and show you putting our liquid grip on the axe handle. Um, your kit's going to come with a paintbrush. Um, it's also going to come with a little stir stick. Let me grab it. Stir stick. Isn't it cute? The biggest thing is... Stir it up. There we go. Um, there we are. Liquid grip, guys. So, stir it up. And the easy as this, just paint it on. Paint it on. It's going to be two or three layers. Um, you'll see it's a little bit thicker, and when it dries, it's going to have a rubberized feel to it, along with that grit texture to really make it anti-slip and give you something really good to hold on to. And also provide the color. I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. Shoo. 
takes about one ounce to get three layers on here. You have four ounces in your kit, so you'll have enough to, for any touch up uh, later if you end up getting any of this to wear down too much or get any gouges or anything like that in the liquid grip. But like we said, the tape is not going anywhere. It is fully cured, rock hard. Uh, it's gonna be able to take any sort of abuse um, you could put it to. If you gotta get it off, you're gonna need a grinder or maybe a little uh, multi-max tool, something like that to cut it off. So um, high endurance, permanent wrap, guys. So uh, that's it. Uh, we'll film uh, again when Andre comes back to pick up his ax and uh, get a little live reaction uh, what he wants or what he thinks of it. So anyway, thanks, guys.